I'm looking at this uh, this rack here of equipment. It reminds me of back in very like the mid '80s or so. It was very new then, much you know, like really new. It was sampling and triggering, triggering sampling. You know, it was very limited. You could do very very short things, and you could trigger it like with a. It was called an emulator. It was like a big synthesizer. It was very expensive, but you could have like a, a broken glass sound or something. And uh, I was in the studio recording. Uh, Trilogy, 1986. And I got this idea that I wanted to have the snare drum triggering a gunshot. So every time it, do, bah, bah, it would be like a gunshot. Like, I would say, oh, wow, that would be so cool. So I had a 357, Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum pistol. And I said, I'm going to bring this to the studio and record it. And then we got to sample the snare. So this was a new village recorder in... Uh, Los Angeles, Santa Monica or something. <laughs> and it was a bunch of bands. Duran Duran was there, Steve Nicks. A lot of other bands were there too. And it was a party all the time. 1986, remember that. Anyway, so we took, put this big stump of wood in the studio like this. Mic'd it up. I said, are you ready? I take the 350 man and go, <laughs> wow, great, great. We listen back to the tape, it's just click. It didn't work. We did it for, for a day or something and wasted all that time and money, but uh, we still couldn't get it done. So on my last album, Parabellum, I actually managed to do it. I sampled a Beretta 92 mil, 9 millimeter pistol, and it sounds amazing. It's on um, a few songs, Wolf at the Door, Relentless Fury has the gunshot. It's a, it's a sampling effect, took a few years to get it right. <laughs> 